One week since the election, and Governor-elect Ned Lamont sat down today with top executives from the state's top 10 employers. The companies employ thousands of people here in Connecticut, and thousands more are employed at hundreds of subcontractors. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, has more on how that meeting went. Mark. Hi, Karen and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yes, it was back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back meetings for the new governor today, meeting with municipal leaders from around the state at New Haven this morning and with the biggest of the big shots from Connecticut's biggest companies in the afternoon. The governor-elect met with the top executives from those 10 large companies at the iconic Traveler's Tower in Hartford. The other local insurance giants, Aetna, Cigna, and the Hartford were represented, along with United Technologies, Electric Boat, Sikorsky, Stanley Black & Decker, and Beringer Engelheim. Those companies, from all of the major regions of the state, directly employ about 70,000 people in Connecticut. Thousands more are employed at hundreds of subcontractors. It was the first meeting of the Connecticut Business Roundtable. I said, look, we're going to get our fiscal house in order. I need you at the table as well, believing in the state. And, um, and this is the beginning of a, a communication. And you're going to have a governor that listens to you. All through the election campaign, Lamont said he wanted to be a governor that helps to create new jobs and create a pro-business climate. But he knows the best chance of making big changes will be in the first year. I know that, and I think they know that. And uh, they said, uh, we love this state. We want to grow in this state. We want to invest in this state. Fiscal, get your fiscal house in order, Connecticut, and we're on board. Joe Brennan is head of the state's largest business organization. He put the meeting together. We just thought it was important uh, now after the election uh, to figure out how we can uh, work together to do what we all want to do, and that just make Connecticut a better state in which to live and work. Now, the Connecticut Business and Industry Association that Brennan heads has been opposed to state mandates like increasing the minimum wage to $15 per hour and paid family leave. Those are two issues that Lamont campaigned on during the election. But Brennan says the Business and Industry Association is ready to work with legislative leaders on those issues. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.